and uh, what are about the behaviors? So we uh, used uh, several um, behavior tests. Uh, one is the tail suspension tests. The other is for swimming test of the animals <coughs> that with uh, with intact SFRP3 or with SFRP3 uh, deletion. And uh, first introduction of these two tests. These two tests have been have been widely used uh, in the companies to. Uh, assay the efficacy of antidepressants or to, uh, to screen for novel antidepressants and um, both is to assay the mood levels and what we found is that if you get rid of SFRP3 which means you have more wind signaling and the most dividing new neurons these animals actually are quite happy it's like they are taking antidepressants every day um, and <coughs> If you treat these mice, and the, for example with Prozac, they do not have further effects uh, of, of, uh, uh, of in this uh, deletion mice, suggesting indeed it's underlying um, the probably it's the underlying mechanism or one of the targets of this treatment. <coughs> Furthermore, uh, so how it is, is this correlated with humans, right? Uh, with patients. So in collaboration with uh, Elizabeth Binder at Germany, we look for patients that carry um, single nucleotide uh, polymorphism, or polymorphism it's a, or SNPs on this gene, SRP, SFRP3 gene. And this usually happens in, in the general population and it happens at different sites. So you, you, have, a, uh, you have different uh, a single different nucleotide, ATGC. And there are three of them, three SNPs in, this SF, in the human SFRP3 genes uh, uh, with high occurrence. And the idea is to look whether this is relevant to the patients with uh, depressions. So what, what, they've, what uh, Alyssa Binder's group found is that indeed they are, they are significantly correlated with the patients uh, that re uh, the responding time to antidepressants. And furthermore, <coughs> um, our recent uh, 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 collaboration with Danny Weinberg to further look whether the SNPs, because we know some of the SNPs is natural occurring, and it, if it does not affect, uh, if it's in the intron region or non-coding region, it won't affect the gene pre in expression. What, what uh, Danny found is that indeed, uh, two of the SNPs actually significantly affect the expression level of the SF, uh, SFRP3 proteins, suggesting a correlation uh, between the expression uh, and the, the, the response to antidepressants. So this is a, just a summary uh, that well, this work leads to our uh, conclusion that SFRP3 might be a potential target for novel uh, treatment of depression because that multiple antidepressant treatments, including electrical convulsive treatments, chemical treatments, different chemical uh, mechanisms, they, they all uh, alter the SSRP3 gene expression. And the, the, if you delete this gene in the mice, they show a reduction in de depressive-like behavior. And uh, I also showed you that the SFRP3 is a negative regulator of brain stem cells. It reduces the production of the, uh, the new, newborn nerve cells in, in our brain. And there's uh, a lot of work done by other labs also show that enhance adult, the, the enhanced uh, brain stem cells ability to give rise to new nerve cells is correlated with efficacy of antidepressant treatment. And also our recent data show that this is the uh, human gene uh, polymorphs, uh, nuclear polymorphic uh, SNPs, let's say that, sorry, <laughs> associates <laughs> with, with latency to uh, the antidepressant response. So I will end my talk here and uh, acknowledge the people who have done the work. These are the, the people currently in the lab and also the, uh, the people that have left the lab. Some of them started their own, uh, own uh, uh, posi uh, faculty positions and also uh, our collaborators. Uh, we'd be happy to take your questions. Hi, um, yes. I, I had a question. Um, when you were talking about um, lifestyle factors, for example, that... that yeah, acts 
exercise. Yeah, that and seemed to promote yes. um, brain stem cell growth. Mm -hmm. There's all sort of components of a healthy living, but I didn't see sleep on there. And I was thinking about when I had a baby, I, I, I call it mom -nesia because I felt like I had no new learning. I, there's so much I couldn't remember. And other moms will tell me this too. They say, oh gosh, I, I forgot how to do that with a baby. And, and, and I, I found this to be very common. And I thought it was interesting with it the stem cells affecting both learning and memory and mood regulation. Yeah, so I, uh, I, although I didn't mention this, but I also listed here in this group, I didn't uh, 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 talk about this group. Uh, it's most likely it involves the hormone changes um, during uh, the pregnancy and after pregnancy. And this group was labeled yellow because they have both positive and negative uh, effects on brain stem cells, and it's context-dependent. Mm -hmm. That sleep hasn't been correlated um, not to Not that to my knowledge. Uh, well, so, yes. Uh, is there any evidence or way to get evidence that, that people prone to depression have lousy stem cells? <laughs> There, there could be a way, but uh, uh, I think with 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 all the all the development with this uh, induced pluripotent stem cells, there, I mean, it's possible to study like um, like specific to patients uh, what happened to to the to their stem cells, right? My limited understanding of, of the brain is is that. As one ages and learns some things, axons are paired back and connections are, are limited. Is that accurate? So, so um, basically, it, 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 it's basically a change of the response of the cells. I think right, that's, yeah, okay. yeah. Does that same process occur with newly generated brain, mm -hmm. stem, uh, brain cells? We haven't looked at that closely. Uh, like using the whole reconstruction of the whole hippocampus, uh, in that case, in aged animals. But we do find the structure is somewhat changed in aged animals. The whole hippocampal structure, including the stem cells, they look some, some kind of weird. Although we haven't really quantified how, how, they, how is that weird really is. I've got one. Yes. So in the newborn cells, mm -hmm. how much of the connectivity if it's correct, how much of it do you think is instructed, and how much do you think is a consequence of selection? Um, so the survival is probably there's so so there's multiple things. So when the when the stem cells they divide, they give give rise to lots of cells, and this uh, this phenomenon is very similar to early embryonic development, which you have an over overproduction and then you uh, prune back. So this is the, also the case in, in the adult uh, brain stem cells. They also tend to overproduce, and then you trim back about back to 50%. But then the connectivity probably is more uh, constructed. You, if, you, if you look at a movie, the cells actually is very, very well organized. And they both stacked and staged. They do not overlap. They do not run into each other. So that's we believe this is more more instructed uh, uh, phenomenon in that case. Hi, um, my question was um, you, um, you talked about uh, antidepressants um, and in relation to like electroconvulsive therapy, mm -hmm. um, and I wondered if you could comment on like pharmacological treatments um, and how maybe you know the mechanisms of things like SSRIs would be related to. These, to this gene that you're talking about, or the, how it's related to um, the stem cell. So what we found uh, is that um, <coughs> so the uh, antidepressants will reduce the expression of uh, this uh, SFRP3, then which will lead to increase of the wind signaling, which you know is known stimulator of the stem cells. That will thus you have increased stimulation of the stem cells so you have the so you stimulate to divide and also give rise to more nerve cells that's our hypothesis uh, that which is underlying potentially the effect of antidepressant probably as well as ECT 
although the initial action could be different, but we think they all converge on this protein. But so in terms of like the immediate effect of inhibiting um, the serotonin reuptake and stuff, is that a different mechanism? That could be all, could be all different because we use uh, two different uh, drugs. One is SSR, SSRI, the other one is not SSRI. And we, uh, we know that the, the uh, uh, ECT is not directed to directly connected to SSRI function at, at the serotonin level. Is there, do we know anything of what stimulates the creation of new brain cells? Well, so, so we, <laughs> we I mean, if you want to know exactly mechanisms, uh, I, I believe some is no, some is not no. At least we know, like, the, if you are uh, in a rich environment, if you exercise, you actively learn uh, something, uh, or you, uh, you, uh, you uh, I, I guess this has to be a, a, a subscribe or active dietary restriction that all lead to a stimulation of stem cells. Uh, some of the, this action has been linked to uh, the um, uh, um, BDNF, uh, the, the um, uh, neurotrophic factors, for example. Um, but uh, some of this are still not clear. That's is, exactly is the mechanism. Are any new cells generated in response to injury or disease? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's actually very clear. Another area I didn't go into is that uh, actually, tra traumatic brain injury can actually strongly uh, stimulate brain stem cells. The problem of this is the stimulation, though these stem cells will be activated and they try to squeeze their way out to the injury site. The problem is once they, be, uh, they give rise to new nerve cells, the nerve cells somehow lost the in instruction like we have in the endogenous environment like hippocampus, they do not survive. So the brain do show some kind of self-repel, at least uh, 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 initially, but it, it's it's uh, it's a aborted one, basically. Do we do we see anything like we were told about at the end of the esophagus, where the new cells are generated by can cancers? Haven't it haven't been shown in hippocampus? Yeah, uh, I don't think anyone has observed that. Although uh, another area uh, that is also showing this adult uh, with the system of brain uh, stem cells is the ventricular subventricular system, but it's more robust in rodents but less in humans. It's actually highly debatable whether it, it still exists in humans in the adult uh, conditions. But that, that system has been uh, reported to link to cancers, but not in the hippocampus. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Greg. Yeah.